Hello, in this video I'm going to show how to calculate the bond equivalent yield on treasury bills. So consider this 26 week T-bill priced at $98 per $100. That is you purchase a T-bill for $98 and receive $100 in 26 weeks at maturity. We want to solve for the bond equivalent yield. We're going to use a simple interest rate formula given as follows. FV is $100 received in 26 weeks. You can consider that the future value. PV is the price of the T-bill today, or $98. R is the bond equivalent yield. And T in this formula represents a fraction of the year, which is going to be the days to maturity, divided by 365. So for this formula, FV is $100. That's what you receive in 26 weeks at maturity. $98, or 98 here, is what you pay for the T-bill. This is a 26-week T-bill, and there are seven days in a week, so that's going to be the number of days to maturity, or 182, and 365 days in a year. So simplifying here a little bit, again, 26 weeks times 7 gives us 182, and 182 divided by 365, basically 0.5. And now simplifying here a little bit, I'm going to divide through by 98. And the left-hand side equals the following, 1.020408. Let's subtract 1 from both sides. Simplifying here a little bit. And now dividing through by 0 0.5, the bond equivalent, the bond equivalent yield here is 4.08%. Let's do another example. This time we have a four-week T-bill priced at $99.80 per $100. So we're going to purchase a T-bill, this four-week T-bill, for $99.80. And in four weeks, we'll receive $100. Once again, we'll solve for the bond equivalent yield. We're going to use that simple interest rate formula. And plugging our values into it, we receive $100 in four weeks. We pay $99.80 today. There are four weeks, uh, seven days in a week. And that will simplify down to 0 0.0767. That's 28 divided by 365. Gives us this number right here. Doing a little division. Dividing through by 99.8. Simplifying. And simplifying some more. And now dividing through by this 0 0.0767. We get a bond equivalent yield of 2.61%. Few things to note here. The bond equivalent yield assumes the interest income is not reinvested in the purchase of new T bills. If the interest income is reinvested in the purchase of future T bills, the interest rate earned will be higher than the bond equivalent yield. So let's do an example here. Let's go back to this 26 week T bill. In January, you buy $98 T bills that pay $100 in 26 weeks. In July, you now have uh, this $100 uh, from your first investment, and you're going to take that $100 and buy more T-bills. So you buy $100 of T-bills. Once again, we're going to assume priced at $98 per $100. That pays $102.04 by the end of the year. So in July, you're going to buy $100 of T-bills, uh, and that will get you $102.04 in the end of 26 weeks. And this 102.04 is just calculated as 100 divided by 0.98. That's the, how much we'll get at maturity. So the annual effective interest rate, which assumes interest is reinvested in this case, uh, we're going to use this future value formula. So we start with $98 purchase of T-bills at the beginning of the year. By the end of the year, we receive $102.04. And, uh, and, and this is over one year, so it's just one year. We're going to solve for the annual effective interest rate here, R. So simplifying, simplifying some more. We get an annual effective interest rate here of 4.1%, which is slightly higher than the bond equivalent yield that we found earlier in example one. Okay, that's it.